Here's another video, uh, Dayton at Davidson. We've had three or four so far regarding traveling violations that occurred and they were ruled as legal. In other words, no whistle. Well, here we have a fellow who catches the ball, kind of both feet up in the air and he lands and he's okay. And if, if you think he did, he didn't. They, they land almost simultaneously. Give them the benefit, that's what they've been doing. But then, as he fakes this fella out, B1, fakes him out, the rule says a player may lift the pivot foot to pass or shoot, but not before the ball is released. He can't lift the pivot foot before the ball is released to start a dribble. The trail official coming from this side, Les is going to come across here, and he's going to have a traveling violation, he calls this time, but the ball is released, he's already dribbling it, and the pivot foot is still on the floor. And the truth is, he faked less. He faked the official out. Um, just too quick with the whistle on that. Watch it in real speed, and you can see how, well, just about anybody could have been faked out unless you're locked in on the pivot foot. See, the fans, you could even hear the fans thinking it was a traveling violation. Let me tell you something, it was not a traveling violation. That's what caused me to make the video. The dribble is gone, and the foot is still, the pivot foot is still on the floor. We did not get a whistle from here. We got lots of ball watching going on in this game. See, now it's everything is legal there. Did nothing wrong, uh, but we are charged with a traveling violation, and they lose that possession.